so let's just jump in. And this is where I got kind of confused because I thought, you know, I got the radio out. But we want to set up the hotspot, okay? And that is, we're going to use a SkyBridge Plus. It's a dual band digital hotspot. That means it can talk on 70 centimeters and uh, two meter. So let me get this out of the box here. And we should have an antenna. And I already have the internet connection here. So I'm going to uh, Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up and get it started. Put this right here. Get my Take that off there. I need to work on my, I want to be able to. I'm a one man show right now, so let's do that. Okay. So as you can see, it's initializing and what it's doing is it's going to Give me an IP address. So we've already, so this, I'm going to go step by step right now through the, the notes here. And so we're going to jump down here. Okay, I already did, um, since I'm, we're going to build this for me, I'm, I'm, I already did the DMR ID and I searched for my ID and I've got 312-9172. That's, that's mission critical. Okay, the next step is, we're going to put this uh, we're going to put this hotspot on the Brandmeister network. OK, now the, this is extremely important at this point. You need to go to you need to get what's called a self-care account. You, in other words, you have to uh, already create go to this go to this website here and set up a self-care account where you get a password, okay? Otherwise you can't play. And the reason why they've done this is for security purposes. It, it's, a, it's a good thing to do. You're, you're uh, making sure you're not being, uh, you know, somebody else isn't operating under your name and this gives you that uh, security. So the, once you get your DMR ID, the next step is to go to Brandmeister or any other network. TGIF has this same policy where you set up and get a, a username and password. And this comes in handy here in a moment when we set up our hotspot. So you've got the link in the in the show notes for you to for you to do that. So uh, use that and get you a password and a username or your username and your uh, your. Let me back up. Your uh, DMR ID is your username and your password is the what you set up in the self care account. Okay, so we're going to go over here and. We want to get the IP address off of this uh, hotspot real quick. And what it's, it's saying, it's 192.168.1.95. Okay, it automatically, uh, I connected it to our in-house internet here. And it, that's what popped up because it does it with DHCP. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to the screen. And I'm going to open up a new browser window. And I'm going to type in 192.168.1.95. And this should open up, as you can see, the Pi Star dashboard. So we're on step three. We just got the hotspot connected. It. So in, now step four, we just uh, typed in our IP address, and now we're on the Parstar setup page. So now we want to go to this configuration section, okay? Now, this is where you start entering your credentials that you use for yourself to identify yourself. It's already set up for DMR by default, okay? So you don't have to do anything in that case. It's already in DMR mode. Where you need to make the adjustments is right here in the general configuration. By the way, I got a, I've got a monitor over here as well, so I can see what I'm doing. 
Okay, so this is where you want to enter all the things about yourself. So in this case, I'm going to do me, KC0, QVT, my, oh, already tabbed, my DMR ID, 312. Okay, then we're going to put this on, uh, I'm going to program this up. It's already set for 444.550. Uh, four, uh, I'm going to put this on frequency 446 dot five two five and that's how you enter that okay now pi star allows for you to provide some additional information about your uh you know where you're located and all that and i'm going to do that real quick and this this will pop up when you get a link to your uh your credentials on the brandmeister network so i'm going to go to smithville missouri launch I'm going to get my longitude and latitude. I don't have this committed to memory. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put this right here. Go back over here. Copy my other number. There's that. Now I'm going to, I'm in Smithville, Missouri. And I'll just change the, uh, I'll change this to KC, it's already there. Change that to KC0 QVD. The, the, the modem's already set up. So we know it's the hot, the, the sky bridge, the MMDVM dual band hotspot. And I am English US. I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and apply the changes. And that'll restart the, um, that'll restart this. It sees, you can see over here, it says stopped. And it's back in business. So I can go back over here. And it wants me to restart. Okay, now this is where the uh, we assign the server that we want to use to uh, have this hotspot connected to. Now this is where, you know, I, I mentioned earlier about all those networks. If you remember me putting them up on the board, you got Brandmeister, you got TGIF, DMR Plus, Homebrew, uh, Free DMR. Well, this is where you can see all this stuff. Now, you can see there's tons of these Brandmeister servers all over the place. In the United States, which is where I'm at, you know, we've got three servers, okay? 3102, 03, and 04. And 3102 has been predominantly, it's, it's the Midwest. 3103 is the West Coast. And then the East Coast is 3104. But then what you can do is you can scroll through here. You can see all these different servers that we have available. D DMR plus everywhere. Uh, free DMR. This is what I was showing you earlier. These All these homebrew uh, servers. You can just scroll through here and, and just see the, the vastness of, of what's been done. And, and then you could actually, if, you know, when you get to be an expert, you can put your own server in there if you want through uh, an expert capability okay now the security is where that when you created your uh profile on brandmeister or any other network you're going to have a password this is where you write that in okay so i believe that's my password and i'll know here in a minute i'm going to apply these changes and i'll know if i I want to make sure I do this right. Oh, by the way, there's also, um, I'll get to it in a moment when we get back on it here. I don't want to see that. Let's see. Yep, reboot. Okay, yes, that was the right password. And the reason why I know that is because everything over here is green. The mode's DMR. I'm on the DMR net. There's my... Receive and transmit frequencies. There's my DMR ID. And I'll get into this color code and time slot. And then there's my server. So let's go back over here to the configuration page.